Hi, I'm Chris Cardone, and I'm the United States East Coast representative of the Flair Bartend Association. And today I'm going to talk about the tools that you can use when you flare bartend. You can pretty much flare with any item behind any bar any day of the week, but we'll go through some individual items. Um, most of the time you're going to start with a glass, so you can certainly use a glass for flare bartending. You can also open a beer with flare. You can simply take your uh, bottle opener and you can spin it around and pop it open and open a beer with some flare. You can use a coaster with flare. So if somebody comes into your bar, a nice way to greet them is dropping a coaster on the bar using some flare bartending techniques. Maybe you're going to pour a drink. Now we can do this two ways. We can take our bottle and we can simply pour it into a glass or a tin. Or, for those of you guys that like to jigger pour, jigger pouring is certainly an option for flare bartending as well. So we can use a jigger while we flare bartend. Make sure our pours are proper. You can use muddlers while you, while you bartend. A lot of times when I'm at work, I'll muddle my drink up and then I'll take my muddler, throw it behind my back and drop it back onto my bar. Another time, I might be using a strainer. So maybe I'm gonna strain my drink out of a tin and I wanna really make a scene and show them how I can flare with my strainer. Again, some people will say that simply using a bar spoon in a really nice way and just spinning it in your hands technically is flare bartending, especially if you can do it really quiet and nobody can hear the ice. That's considered elegance behind the bar and that's another item of flare bartending. So the concept is you can pretty much use any item behind a bar, whether it's a glass, a beer, a a coaster or a napkin, a bottle, and the definitely a tool that you definitely want to use behind the bar, or excuse me, not behind the bar, but when practicing flare, is a flare bottle. These bottles are unbreakable, and that way, if you drop it on the ground, it's not going to shatter all over your hands or over your face. If you throw it in the air and it hits another bottle or a tin, it's not going to break. So this is definitely a tool that you want to use while practicing and learning flare bartending. It's probably the item of choice for all flare bartenders when learning a new move or practicing an old move or something that they're not ready to go to glass with. It's also a really good confidence booster for somebody who's just learning how to do this stuff. And those are the tools to use when you flare bartending.